Welcome to 27th of December's Godly Blessing. Supreme Godfather is trying to remind us that there was a time when we had a mind over matter. Imagine a time like that. That time is right now. It's the time to reclaim back that very power which we are supposed to have within us. Either we are dependent upon the five elements around us, that means everything which is surrounding me and you, or we are independent. That means we are so powerful that those five elements in different forms, they come to serve us, they come to help God and us out in making this world beautiful. Now you'll be questioning that one sentence which I just said, help God out. Exactly. God doesn't need any help. But when we souls who are his children become so dependent upon the five elements and all the things around us that we become so weak. Just like, I can't stay without this. I need this kind of facility so as to survive, so as to feel happy, so as to feel comfortable. God says that if you are going to be dependent upon those things, obviously you become weaker. That means you are limiting yourself and you are becoming somebody who doesn't have the power and the strength to attract things in your life which are more powerful. And that attraction can only happen when we don't want those things around us. So desirelessness is one powerful strength where our focus is actually on what we want to achieve in a higher consciousness and automatically all the things which we see around us follow us. Just like you have the sun in front of you and you have your shadow behind you. So the shadow over here is all the facilities of five elements whether it's finances, facilities, things around you, which just follow you without any question. That's known as mind over matter. So God says, when my children become powerful, that's the time I can, through them, make this world which has become powerless and people become so dependent upon things and matter and material things around them, I can then help them through my children to make this world purer and divine. So let's see what does God have to say over here in this beautiful blessing in his own words god says may you become victorious by making matter your servant instead of being impressed by salvation salvation means help or facilities now salvation could be any kind of help could be material help could be any kind of help from people around you and you're like oh when i help have that help only then can i move ahead in life imagine any person in this world who has been successful thinking that when i have the money when i have the when I have the facilities, only then can I be successful. What about the ideas then? What about imagination? What about the power of the soul within of imagining things and creating things? And that creation then brings in all the facilities and the money. So God says yogi souls and most elevated souls can never be influenced by matter. You Brahmin souls are the most elevated. Brahmin souls are those souls who are actually learning or practicing going beyond the five elements. Yes, that's what we practice on a daily basis. How to detach ourselves from this physical body also, the needs of this body. It's a bit of a struggle in the beginning, but over a period of time, slowly, slowly, you'll also learn this method that automatically you'll be so detached from so many things. You won't need so many things which are surrounding you actually. You'll be like, oh, I've got too many things around me. Or I don't need all these facilities around me. I'm comfortable in the simplicity of things in life. So God is saying that you Brahmin souls are the most elevated yogi souls and matter is the servant of you masters. So are we masters or are we slaves? That's the question which you need to ask. Therefore, none of the facilities or salvation of matter can influence you. Nothing can influence us. We have to reach that level. It is something which needs to be reached over a period of time. It takes time to reach that level. For that, the connection between the Supreme Creator, the love and the happiness from Him when received completely helps us to be detached. Just like you want a child to remove something which is dangerous in his hand. What do you do? Either you snatch it or you try to give that child something better or something more attractive so that the child says, oh, I'll take this and I'll leave this. Exactly. So either we take God's love and peace and power and happiness and joy or we become so dependent on the material things that it becomes difficult for us to leave those things around us. 
and that dependency brings in a lot of stress that dependency brings in a lot of unhappiness that dependency brings in a lot of irritation and anger when those things are not working or those things are not there or those facilities are not there anymore so then god says let the facilities not be the basis of your spiritual endeavor even this camera in front of me if it stops working i should not be panicking tomorrow right but let your spiritual endeavor make the facilities support you that means you become so powerful that these facilities come towards you they show up in front of you they're like okay i am there use me for this beautiful work of beautiful service which you are trying to do i want to be a part of it yes even even five elements can work towards helping you reach out to many people that's the power of a yogi soul and a yogi soul doesn't mean that you have to wear something which is saffron or white yogi is from within then god says but let your spiritual endeavor make the facility support you and you would then be called a conqueror of matter a victorious soul imagine that power what would you do to take this power what would you like to do or how much would you like to spend if i may ask you can you really spend money and make five elements and matter a slave of yours but it's not exactly making them a slave they are becoming your cooperators but either we become a slave of them this that is possible we can become a slave of them we might be irritated frustrated angry or even jealous when we see facilities with other people and not with us so god says focus on not using force or power or manipulation to get those things but become a yogi soul with the mind being pure and powerful automatically those facilities will come to you you want to try it out do join in brahma kumaris do the meditation course and learn this power is there for free with the som shanti